Welcome to DIY with Rian. Today I'm going to show you how to install a solid wooden flooring but in a complete different method that you've never seen before. But to tell us more about this is Steven Santabs. So Steven was with me in South Africa doing a couple of shows doing flooring and he's a master on flooring. So Steven, what brought you to America? Well, Rian, I've been in America now a year and a half and it's, just, it's so a coincidence that we're doing this together right here. We've done this before in yeah, South Africa. <laughs> so yeah, I actually came to be with my family, Rian. They live in California, but uh, I have to work and I've been in the wooden flooring industry 30 years. So I've decided to get back involved in the flooring in America and to introduce the product onto the market here. So tell me more about Elastalon. Well, Rian, Elastalon. This is the product that uh, I was the importer and distributor of in South Africa mm -hmm. for 15 years. And it saved me on many occasions because this product creates a floating floor okay. with a tongue and groove floor without any glue at all in the all tongue right. and groove. So what this product is, it's a series of closed cell foam mats yeah. with adhesive on it on the one side. So the whole floor, I hate to use the word peel and stick because it sort of cheapens it, but it's basically a peel and stick. Okay. But the bond of the stick is a lifetime bond. Yeah. So when it's stuck, it's stuck for life. So now you've got the whole floor adhered to the mat, no glue in the tongue and groove, and a floating floor is a great benefit. The benefit of a floating floor, especially over concrete, okay. is that you can put a six more poly, and of course, the six mole poly has a zero perm rating, and that means if there's any change of moisture on the concrete, mm -hmm. it's not going to affect your floor. Yes. So you're not going to have a moisture failure on elastolon. Okay. So it eliminates moisture cupping, and it eliminates pressure cupping. Yeah. And having no glue in the tongue and groove means that you can do repair work, board changes, etc yeah and having no glue this is a dry adhesive i can just peel back you can have a look at this here so it's a dry adhesive okay so with that dry adhesive there's no mess there's no it's it's clean all the way and the nice thing about it, it's three millimeter thick that means you don't need knee pads you're kneeling on a nice foam pad while you're working especially <laughs> in our age hey, hey, hey you're getting no, old we've got to look after the knees I'm, I'm yeah, telling the, you, knees, yeah. the knees ain't good so Steve, what, what other products do you also want to put into America's market? Well, Rian, besides, well, Elastalon's got numerous products that uh, just, just, I'll just quickly run through quickly. We've got a product which is called Strong, which is for solid tongue and groove flooring. Okay. We've got a product which is called Basic, which is for engineered tongue and groove flooring. Yeah. Then we have a two mil product we're working on, which will be for gluing down dry back LVTs okay. as a floating floor. Double-sided, great for staircases. Okay, so you don't have to do alternate threads and then walk alternate to the room. You do them all one shot, dry these and walk on it immediately. That's so great. that's another yeah. idea. And then the one product we've got is doing the exhibitions. People like to exhibit their products on the exhibitions. They glue it together and then they've got to throw the floor and tear it out, it's a big job. We have a mat that is a temporary stick. So you glue your flooring onto the mat. After the show, you pop the flooring off and uh, you simply put the wrapper back on the mat, you use the mat 10 times. 10 times? So it's great wow. for exhibitions. Okay. And then lastly, well, I got one little one last year, but lastly, this one is, is a 10 mil Elastalon Sport. Yeah. This is for home gyms, aerobics floors, stage floors, school halls, and uh, even though it hasn't been tested for ball bounds, but we've even done a basketball court on this in Angola. Wow. On that one. That's cool. And if there's any mosaics, we're a little thin one like that, that would be for your Swiss parquet or your mosaic flooring. Flooring, oh, that's So really there's cool. quite a nice range in the last one. Long. I had the contract for some of the big gyms in South Africa. We even did two American schools that were, that were approved by the NBA, the Master Basketball Association, in South Africa. They flew yeah. out to the American school in Johannesburg and we used a special timber called Havea. Okay. It's tongue and groove, 22 millimeter thick. Yeah. We also do a portable basketball court. So with this one, it's a simple click, that's it. So with wow. 10 people working under three hours, you have a full basketball court of it, which is around about 8,000 square feet or so. Yeah. So very simple installation with that one. And the benefit of this, it comes pre-sealed from the factory 
And if you want all your logos, lines, all pre-painted before it arrives on, on site, we paint everything at the factory, arrives in trolleys, you just lay out. Trolley one, you lay it out. Trolley two, and all your lines are perfectly there. Wow. Great product. So we're making life easy. Making life easy. So now, Stephen, we've got the floor ready. We've, everything has been vacuumed. What is the first step that we're going to do before we're going to put this floor down? Right, Rian. The first step is always moisture. Mm -hmm. Moisture is the biggest uh, cause of failures in wooden flooring. So we are testing the moisture and we're sitting the moisture. Well, yeah, it's showing around about seven or eight percent. That's very good. Yeah, that's we know it's nice and dry. Yes, yes. So we inland, we're not on the coast. Eight percent is correct. What you're looking for now, your flooring has got to be equilibrium to your within two percentage points around about. So let's okay. check the moisture of the flooring and see if we're on the same page. So the flooring is also sitting at 8%. Wow. So we've got a perfect, perfect flooring in, in this room. Yeah. And then, the, as you, I know you just check the flatness, but once the moisture test, just double check all your flatnesses, you're all fine here, mm -hmm. perfect. And uh, prep is done. We've, like you said, we've taken off the high spot and we're ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll. So the next thing I want to do now is where the doors are, where the door frames are on the bottom, I'll have to undercut the door frames. We also want to get the flooring to go underneath there. We don't want to cut around it. There's so much more work to do. So my next step is to do the undercut. So what we're going to do now is to roll this elastolon out onto our prepared floor. You'll see we bring it up a little bit on the side here. And we're going to show you, we bring that to peel this down to have a peel off to start the floor rolling. So we're going to roll this out perpendicular to the floor that we're going to put in. So all our planks are going to go this way and that's why we're rolling this elastolon out this way. So you'll see what we've done, we've taken this elastolon just lift it up a little bit and first did our racking of this floor. We've put the first three rows in, we fitted it. You can see we've got a three quarter spacing. So you use pieces of your flooring to put that in there. And this will be the spacing for your floor to be able to move. So these three rows are now dry fit as we would say and ready to install. So now Stephen, I'm gonna put the elastolon back and start putting the floor down. So Stephen, we're all ready for the flooring now. So I see on this part, we've left one part very high yeah. and then the others we've cut short. Uh, what's the reason that we are doing this now? Right. If you have a job and it's your first time ever using elastolone, you're going to have a little bit of wastage. And uh, thereafter, you're going to use these mats that come off. Yeah. You keep them and use them as your starting flaps. So I'll explain it to you now. So what we're going to do for the start, because you can't lay directly on the mat, it's too sticky. You want to lay on a flap. And once, once, your, once your floor is in line and all tied together, yeah. then we can pull the flap out from under the board, it makes contact with the mat, and then it's stuck for life. Oh, so, got it. So a little bit of wastage here, I'm going to just trim this back now. Right, let me come off. I suppose we could keep this for something, but we'll just get rid of that for now. And here we have our first starting. We've got some cord from the previous installation. Okay. So we can use that now to as our starting flap instead of wasting. So let's do the second one like that.
we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines on this floor. There's some wide boards, narrow boards, it's a multi width floor. And uh, now we're going to stick this section down. So all I'm going to do, I'll put my blue tape, keep everything together, and just pull it and roll. Simple as that. And as I'm doing this, so the floor is being stuck down for life. Pull it and roll. Right, that's it. Now I can just put a bit of pressure. Stuck for life. There you go, on your last line. Right, and here we are at the last corner to finish this room. So what I've done, the last one is only a small little piece, so we've actually glued that onto the previous one. So normally you don't glue any solid wood to get, get that all, but just the last piece you can glue it so it's part of the first of the last plank. So the last thing to do is to pull this out. That's it. Steve, another thing that I want to mention here is that the sound quality of this floor, I mean, it's unbelievable. Well, you know, Rian, this is a three millimeter foam mat. It's, it, it it's conforms to the IIC and SDC ratings for USA. It's a nice, soft mm. sound. Often what people do when they do this kind of work, they nail onto the subfloor and they've got to glue down cork and all sorts of things to do it. No gluing of cork here whatsoever. On the last one, elastic, right to the end, conforming to sound ratings, and that's it. So Stephen, if somebody wants to get Elastalon, where can they order it? Where can they get more information well, about Elastalon? Well, best thing to do is go to our website, www.elastilon, E-L-A-S-T-I-L-O-N.org. Okay. okay. Well, Steve, that was fantastic. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I love doing the minute, eh? <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm smiling, yeah, I enjoy it. Right guys, our installation is complete here. We've installed this floor on Elastalon. The Elastalon system does form part of NWFA guidelines. I've been using this system for the last 16 years. This floor will not fail from any moisture, it will not cup, as there cannot be any cupping with this product whatsoever, being it moisture or pressure cupping. If you want to contact me, please contact me on my details below and uh, or please speak to your flooring distributor. Thanks for watching this program.